I'm Claire Carlson. I'm the naturalist for the Friends of Capital Springs Recreation Area, and welcome to the Prairie Learning Center. This is a place in Dane County Parks dedicated to learning about and experiencing prairie. So we hope you'll come with your family and learn about plants and animals that are in the prairie community. This all started with this prairie right behind me. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, back in 2017, I was looking for a way to restore this prairie that had been um, succumbing to uh, non-native species such as bird's foot trefoil and uh, grasses such as smooth broom and free canary grass. So, using volunteers from our friends group and with the help of Dane County Parks and our great connection with the Heritage Center, we decided to work to build up more partnerships to, to make Prairie Learning Center um, come true. So, as you can see from our wonderful panel and sign here, that we have many partners working on this project. It's centered here at the Heritage Center, but there are other prairie locations within uh, the complex as well, and I'll talk about them later. But we work really closely with Madison Area Master Gardeners. They're a huge partner of ours. They took on this project as a signature project, so that means we have multi-year funding and multi-year volunteers from Master Gardeners. So what we do every year is we buy prairie, prairie plants or we apply for grants for prairie plants and we start planting. So what we've done is we've gone into this prairie, worked hard to, to remove the invasive plants and uh, plant a new section every year. You can see we've got a lot of work yet left to do, but it's, it's, it's a project that uh, we hope you come and help us with once we're safe and we're able to have public, the public come and help us. Uh, like I said, there are other parts to the Prairie Learning Center. This is just one, this restoration. We also have over here a pollinator garden that went in a year after we started this restoration. So this, with the help of a grant from the Dane County Environmental Council, uh, we're able to design and put in this pollinator garden. Now this is a great way to learn about plants that you can use at home. We put in labels on each plant when it blooms and what color the blooms are. So this is our pollinator garden here at the Prairie Learning Center, centered at the Heritage Center. And we have these lovely labels so you can learn about what plant it is you're seeing and maybe you'd like to use it at home. These are plants available um, from native garden centers um, around Wisconsin. And here's western sunflower coming up. It's a beautiful species that's um, it, it doesn't get too tall, maybe two to three feet, and it's got a stem, a leafless stem. So you can come here and learn about all these great plants that you can use at home as well. But like I mentioned, there are other locations of the Prairie Learning Center, and we have a map um, with these different locations. We have a map of all the Prairie Learning Center locations. So here, the Heritage Center is the, the central location, but we also have prairies throughout the Capital Springs Recreation Area that you can check out too. What's cool is that you can get to them on your bike. So you can come here first, then use the Cap City Trail, the Capital City Trail, to get to the E-Way, which is just down the road on Moreland Road, and you'll find a prairie there that's 25 years old and it's on a drumlin. It's a beautiful walk and we have labels there too for plants, just like this one, so you can learn about the plants you're seeing. So another location within the Prairie Learning Center is at Lunny Lake Farm County Park and that's down the road just east of here on Libby Road and you can get there on bike on the Lower Yahara Trail which connects right here in the parking lot. You bike down the path and you'll get down to some 42-year-old uh, prairies um, down at Lunny Lake Farm. And they're very interesting down there. They're uh, wet to mesic wet prairies. So the species are going to be a little different from what you see here and what you see at the E-Way. So check all those places out. Some other things we're developing here at the Prairie Learning Center um, that unfortunately will just be online for now. Uh, during this this time where we need to, to keep each other safe uh, is a prairie and marsh trail guide that will be available from the Friends of Capital Springs uh, website 
and we'll, you'll be able to use this uh, for a prairie trail on the back end of the Heritage Center. Uh, we've already had one edition out and the second edition will be out soon. We also have guides, prairie guides. So prairie wildlife guides and prairie grass and forb guides. So these will all be available from our website and you're free to download them um, and use them when you come here. When, we, when it's safe to do so, we hope to have natural sled prairie walks throughout these areas so I can show them to you myself. Uh, one, of the, one of the features of the Prairie Learning Center that I'm most excited about are bumblebees. So as you can imagine, when this is all in bloom and the prairie is in bloom, we have a ton of pollinators. Just like this guide shows us here from the Bumblebee Brigade, it's a DNR program. We have 20 species of bumblebees in Wisconsin and we have at least seven species here at the Prairie Learning Center. The bumblebees are very busy when our flowers are in bloom, so you can really observe them up close. And so we get excited to, to show and to talk to people about bumblebees. We of course have many, many types of um, beetles and solitary bees as well as butterflies that come to the Prairie Learning Center. So those are different tools that you can use when you're here to learn about prairie and to experience prairie. Just taking a walk is great too. So next summer when things are, when it's safe to do so, we hope to have you come out and join some of our community science programs like the Bumblebee Brigade where we take photos of the bumblebees we see and submit them to the DNR uh, so in support of bumblebee conservation. Uh, we also are going to have children's packs so kids can come out and learn about the prairie in their own way using magnifying glasses and, and different devices. So those will be available when it's safe to do so. We hope that you've learned a lot today from this video about the Prairie Learning Center and thanks for your time.